Hi friends. It's a bit of a different video. Um, we're gonna be planning for the SF Pin Show. Not sure if I should show you face or table, but obviously I opted for this. And I can't do both face and table without editing. And y'all know that's not my jam. Um, so wait, maybe we zoom out a little. Yeah, I've got here my laptop with the show map and vendor list. And I had already taken some notes without even checking who the vendors were. So on the top of my head without checking was Yamamoto paper. I had a shopping cart, we'll zoom back in. I have a shopping cart full of paper on their Etsy shop, but the shipping is incredibly high. So if I can get these papers from their booth, A plus. I want OK Fools, Airmail Bond, Bank Paper, Yamamoto Bank Paper, probably I want both of those, Sanzen um, 52 GSM, and then on their site they said they had Tamora River 52 GSM, so we'll see about that. <clears throat> and if they have Cosmo Air, maybe, uh, if they have snow. All of these I'd want white if available, but this is because what I'm planning to do is make a journal or journals using um, signatures made from all of these in one signature, uh, which will be nice for comparing uh, inks on different papers easily, like one book. Uh, then on my list, by the way, this is a very expensive list. Who knows if I get everything or anything on it. A Monarch nib. I've been thinking about this for a while and I like the novelty of it. I like that uh, shown as like, you know, making new stuff and like the fountain pens have been the same for a century or so. This is something truly new. And I wrote with one, it's very juicy, loved that. And Omas, I'm gonna be looking for a vintage Omas. And I saw a picture of the 360 and it was beautiful. And so I put 360 question mark, uh, obviously. Rickshaw pens, and they, are they on the list? They are, they usually have a, a show special thing, I will, get that whether it's a single pen oh hey I found my pen uh, whether it's a single pen sleeve or like a do a two pen sleeve or maybe even a case for pens who knows like a like the Sinclair or one of their cozy holders anyway this pen is almost out of ink it's so juicy I love it um are they there yes Kiwi inks is gonna be there I want to visit them again I like them a lot any show specials so this would include any inks that are show specials. Like, so I should put specials, I mean exclusives. I know what I mean though, so I don't have to correct it. And then this is like Lamy Gold Nib. That's something I want. And what I've been thinking of is getting a studio. I don't have one. I like that Imperial Blue um, and put a Gold Nib on it, but I'm gonna look around and see what I find. So these are the things I came up with without looking at the list. Then I pulled up the vendor list and I saw on here, holy cow, holy cow, Sean Newton. So Newton pins is gonna be there. What? I'm very excited about that. I have one of his pins. I've bought two because I gave one to somebody who it belonged with. It didn't belong to me in the end. I had it and I was keeping it for a while, but I gave it to its true owner. Now I have one, I have the prospector, but I'm curious, he's also mixing up. Like, man, do you know any other hand pin turners that are making like their own piston filling pins or their own double-ended fountain pins? Like, love this guy. He's Also, he just seems to be doing really nice things for people. And then let's see who else is here. Yep, Carolina Pin Company. Definitely want to visit Jonathan Brooks. He also seems like a really great guy. I haven't like interacted with him much, but he's always been really nice. So now what do we have other here? Let's look. And some of them I won't know, right? And just because like they're not on here doesn't mean I won't look at literally every freaking thing ever. But, ooh, Coles of London. They fixed my pen for me. I mean, admittedly, they sort of indirectly sold me the bad pen to begin with, but that's a separate issue. Um, 
or Kernow Bookbinding is there. They do some really great uh, journals. If you haven't checked them out, you should. Uh, they do a binding like the one that I've done, the um, <clears throat> the twisted whatever it's called. Uh, you know, who knows? Oh, yeah, I gotta write this down. Enigma Stationers. They were so lovely. Enigma Stationers. I don't know if I'm going to get anything from Kernel because I they do the same binding that I do. <laughs> and, so, and I am planning on making, and I'm getting paper, etc. But assuming most people do not bind their own books, you should check them out. Flax, they're cool. Although it's a different Flax. So there's an art store here called Flax, and I think this is not them. Could be wrong, though. Franklin Kristoff, I don't know. I guess I'm going to write down, no, I'm not going to write down Gina Salarino. I know that they will be there. Oop, thanks, Windows. Defender summary, dismiss. Um, let's see, Glass Studio. There's a few glass pen. Let's look up glass pen. Glass pen. We'll just write that down. Glass pens. It would be nice. Um, ooh, they've got, I like this. They have a little thing at the bottom here. Hold up. I'll bring this over. That shows you the, um, like the ones that are sponsors and then the country that people, uh, vendors are coming from. Pretty dope, huh? <gasps> Wait, Turkey. Does not include Galen. You knew that was what I was checking right away. Wait, is this cold abundant? I think so, yeah. Let's see. Heinz pens. Hmm, maybe. Inca pet. Heck yes. Inca pet. Inca pet. I don't need another one. I don't care. I will get one at the show. Maybe they'll have a show special one. <gasps> they could make one of the bridge. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, yep, yep. Wait, there's a thing called Yolo Shop. I don't know what that is. Let's see. There's a lot of like really uh great things that I'm not reading on here. There's an Omas, <laughs> unless they have vintage. That's a that's a nah for me, dog. Pen Realm, Pen Jillum. And, oh, Peyton Street pens. He, yep, definitely Peyton Street pens. Although, I sort of mm, visit their site quite a lot. <laughs> Pilot USA. Yeah, we'll write that down because I do want to like figure out which of their nibs is for me. Is it soft, medium, something else? Pilot, and I'll write down nibs. This is a pretty full list. Look at that. Then we have, ooh, River City, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sailor, Sean. I'm, I'm just, I can't, y'all, I'm so excited about Sean Newton being there. Scogsy. Some of these, it's like, I know them. How do I know them? Tokyo Station. Oh, Toyoka Craft. They make some really great stuff. Van Ness is going to be there. That's dope. Who, I got something from Van Ness last year. Oh, that's where I got my Galen Leather 40 pin case. So we'll write down Van Ness. They should do show special links. I love their hissy fit. Did I get that wrong? No, that's right. There's a Van Ness street. I wonder if they must know that. I should get a picture with it. Like Van Ness pins on Van Ness Street. There's a whole list. There's a whole side of this paper. Wow. So the other thing I could do is like print out the map and like mark, go here, here, here. But I have three days to be at this place. There's a few places that I'm definitely like, go there first thing on Friday morning, right? Probably Yamamoto. Um, 
definitely, I want to try and get, I wasn't able to get an appointment. I mentioned this with Gina Salarino, but I'm hoping that if I drop by their booth, that I'll be able to drop off a pen. Um, get a work get work done otherwise at least drop off a thing <clears throat> so that's like first thing friday i'm gonna have to get up early and i am not a morning person i'm already already dreading this and i was like and how long away is this this is more than a week away almost not quite two weeks a week and a half oh no why'd you do with my computer i'm looking at you anyway so maybe that's what i should do is like write down what goes what's friday this is Friday. I should put Gina on here then. Put Gina at the top. Gina. Friday. Friday. Maybe also Newton and Carolina for Friday. Because, you know. You know. They might run out of colors that I like. Um... The other thing I want to do before this is just really have a good look at all the pins I own and force myself to live with my collection and, and feel it and look at them all and see like, what am I missing? To be frank, I'm not missing any uh, blue teal custom resins. <laughs> I do not have... A, a, a hole in my collection that is that shade, right? Like we're covered. However, I don't actually have that many pink ones. You wanna have two? So pink is a possibility, especially with what's coming up next month, spoilers. Um, so I may look for some custom pink pen resin. I don't actually have that much many purple pins um so I might look in that shade but let's be real if I find an aqua teal blue pin that speaks to me am I gonna be able to resist it probably not probably not I do have one thing that I would like to buy this year it's an ex it's, it will be an expensive pen. It's certainly expensive for me. I think most people would call it expensive. Um, and I have an idea of what I want, what what material I want it in, and it is predominantly, I mean, it's my color, with bluish and pinks, and there's probably some purple in there. So, mostly blue. I'm, I'm keeping that in mind when I think of, like, purchases for the show. That said, I bought very little last year so I'm okay with once a year kind of treating myself to stuff because it truly is once a year I mean this was this is a good thing for me to like be living with this is the most expensive pen I've bought ever and I do still love it now that it works and I need to remind myself like you don't need to spend a million dollars on pens. Also, the other thing to keep in mind, like one of my favorite writing pens is actually my um, Veco Perkeo. Love that pen. Writes so great. Sometimes I think of getting a second one. Partly it's clear. I can put any ink in it, but it writes so wonderfully. And that was so inexpensive. So it's not like spending more money on a pen is going to always get you a better writing experience. These are things I'm thinking of. One of the like guidelines for if you don't want to spend too much is bring only cash that you're willing to spend. But, you know, carrying around a bunch of cash is you know, not always the best idea. I'm gonna close, okay, that is closed. Um, so I don't know if I'll do that. I, maybe we'll have some in case vendors don't have take cards, but last year everybody took cards. So that wasn't a problem. Uh, well, everyone I purchased from, asterisk, everyone I purchased from took cards. Or, like, I could give them PayPal or something. Um, yeah. I think 
I'm not going to a bunch of places that people normally are really excited about. Boonga Box, Boca Mundo. Like, their stuff is lovely, but... You know, I like juicy medium to broad nibs, and they tend to have, specialize more in not that. Um, but am I going to actually look at every table? Yes, probably I will. Yep, probably I will. <sighs> the other big plan I have for the show, though, <clears throat> is hanging out with friends. So if you see me there, uh, feel free to say hi. I don't know what my hair is going to look like at the time. I just gave myself a little cut. It's still very long, but I, I kind of want to like repaint it or do something with the color. Uh, so who knows? But you would probably hear me because I'm loud and I laugh a lot. Usually some, I mean, I also cry a lot, but not usually at pin shows and oh, I'll probably be stay out, stay out. I will be definitely wearing a mask I, and, because first off, I mean, this is, I still wear a mask everywhere indoors, um, but all of the recent pin shows have had outbreaks of the illness after them. So <laughs> definitely you're going to be very cautious. So for, if I'm indoors, you'll be able to recognize me that way. Probably bright pink hair, big white mask. <laughs> At any rate. These are my plans for now. We'll see if they change. We'll see if I update them. Um, but please do say hi. And as, as always, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Hope you take care of yourselves. Bye.